A lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you you. I mean, we ain't even got. I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, what? Can't. It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. The album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. You don't think Sam's a good, a, a good comedian? The world doesn't think that, sir. I have 12 comedy specials. He has four specials that are not available on Netflix or Tubi. <laughs> Bruh, look. Tubi is crazy. The fact that he had to put Tubi in there, that's disrespectful. We said Netflix or Tubi. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why he threw Tubi in there, but he did. He threw Tubi in there. It's not available on Netflix or Tubi if you was wondering. Bro, who got Tubi? Ain't nobody got Tubi. I don't know. I, Tubi, maybe everything is on Tubi. But I think the Tubi part was disrespectful. It's not available on Netflix or Tubi. <laughs> In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Mr. Cat Williams calling Kevin Hart a liar, basically. So basically what he trying to say is Kevin Hart is an industry plant, right? Like. He trying to say that nobody knew who Kevin Hart was and all of a sudden he just popped out of nowhere and he just had all these deals and he had shows selling out and all that, right? But we not going to know all that, but he seems to be more in tune with that. He's telling it all. Cat Williams came here to get shit off his chest. He came here to get shit off his chest. When I seen this, I was like, yo, I got to do this. My boy sent me the, sent me the uh, podcast and I was like, yo, I got to jump on this. Gotta jump on this. I feel like everybody, everybody love Cat Williams. If you don't love him, you at least like him. Everybody, I like Cat Williams. I know he's never been my favorite, but I, I, I like him. You know what I'm saying? He's funny. And shout out to, uh, to Shannon's podcast. Uh, if you want to check out that podcast, go ahead and check it out. It's almost three hours long. I had to watch it to pick out little bits and pieces on what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for stopping by the channel and happy new year. And excuse me for how I sound, you know what I'm saying? I got a little cold going on, but it's all Gucci. Yo, the memes and all that that's going online right now about this, uh, about this podcast. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so funny right now. I seen one that said, Shannon was like, how you doing, Cat Williams? And he said, the high top that Steve Harvey had on was a, was a wig. <laughs> It's just like he just jumped out the gate swinging at other comedians, man. Cat Williams won Cedric the Entertainer's and Heiser Bush Best L L Best Los Angeles Comic Award. Did you win that award, one Cat Williams? It's a simple yes or no. It's not a rhetorical question. It's a question that probably should have been asked to Cedric the Entertainer. I'm asking you. I got you here, though. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe Cedric didn't get asked that question. <laughs> You still a dude's joking and giving an award and then 10 years later, you don't know nothing about it. 
<laughs> hey, but I but I promise you this. What? If he sees me again before he sees you, he'll be talking different when you see him. That's for certain. That's the difference. That's what these comics understand, is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually the Lord is going to let me and you be in one hallway. A lot of these dudes go. Kevin Hart done went 25 years without ever being in the same building with me at the same time. What, so what, if what? I go in the building, he walk out. You've never seen us in the same building ever in 25 years. Like, it's like that. <laughs> Why? Why? Yes. Because what? I'm really the product. It's not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always in my right mind. I'm always a physical specimen. And when you see me, I'm much, much bigger than you had thought. I have far less play in me than you would like. And I'm relentless. I'm out there. I'm still to this day. I play 11 games of basketball with a 20 year old. The record is 92 and six. This is just in the yard, just to the rack, just cause. Yeah, so right there, he taking little jobs, taking little jabs. He taking little jabs at Kevin again, right? But I hope he's not suggesting like in a physical sense for real, for real, because we already seen Cat, and this ain't nothing against Cat, but we already seen Cat get washed up by like a little like, 11-year-old, 12-year-old kid, <laughs> like, washed them up outside, you know what I mean? So, I hope he's not talking physical, because I don't think he's going to win that battle with Kevin. I'd be willing to bet money Kevin to knock him out, bro. So, I hope he ain't talking about like that. But he coming for people today, boy. <laughs> Cat coming for him. Yeah, he's saying Kevin ain't never been in the same building with him. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to just take it at face value. If he say it is, then I it, it probably is. But I don't think it's because Kevin's scared that he going to beat him up. You know what I'm saying? But Cat really on one for real. He came out here swinging, getting everything off his chest. And I ain't never known Cat to be a liar, man. So I'm going to go ahead and take, a, take it at face value. But I think he think he could beat Kevin. But we seen you fight. <laughs> <laughs> we seen you fight, so I don't know about that, my boy. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious, not now, then. He was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put it in your contract, Cat? That's where he's the, a believable actor. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. They play good women, and I believe that the best actor should be in the best role. So that's why, because when we released that clip and he said that, you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to play, play Santa Claus. An outright lie. So That he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I, this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he, and then he gets this high top fade making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business and it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. 
I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. Yeah, so, you know, it's going to be hard to know how true this is, right? But Ricky Smiley was wearing a dress in First Sunday. And if he say that that was in his contract, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Cat up here telling the truth. And the disrespect towards Ricky Smiley is crazy right now. But listen, honestly, Ricky Smiley ain't never really been that guy. You know what I'm saying? He did have a morning show, and it was all right. Had a morning show on the radio. It was all right. But Ricky Smiley never really, he's never really been that guy. You know, and I didn't see the, I didn't see the pod where he got on, on uh, Shay Shay and was talking. But if he got up there and he was telling them lies, that's crazy. And you know, Cat, like, <laughs> honestly, I didn't think he would take it this far. I didn't think, I thought he probably would clear the air on some personal. But I mean, I feel it though. Like, if you lie publicly, then you should be reprimanded publicly. You should be shamed publicly. But I feel like most people probably would have took it behind closed doors and settled that. But Kat is like, nah, you did this publicly, so I'm going to clear the air publicly. And I feel it. We can't be mad at that. We can't be mad at that. Because if you're not telling the truth and somebody call you out on it, you can't be mad at the person who's telling the truth. You can't be upset with the guy who's coming out and like, you know what? No. This is what really happened. Because now Cat seemed like the bad guy in the situation, right? And he do. He do kind of seem like the bad guy in the situation. But all he's doing is telling the truth. He's just fixing all the lies that these boys been putting out. Adding those levels to acting is what all actors do if they're not Steve or Cedric or Ricky. Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to create a character. You don't, you can't just be phase on in every movie like you just gonna take your shirt off on every movie like why does it say that in your script man let big worm live let him breathe cat let big, let, let, let big worm breathe stall him out now You having an unnatural allegiance to losers is not like you. No, I ain't got no allegiance to the man. But you got to admit the role that he played, Big War, I mean, Big Perm in Friday Night. You got to give him credit for the role. Now, come on now. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If what you're saying is correct, why wasn't he in next Friday or Friday after next? I mean, his role, I mean. It wasn't he, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There was a lot of people that didn't, that appeared in the first one that weren't in the second one. Cat. I'm just telling you why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it's a there's a news flash that there are reasons for things in a business. Yes. Oh, will. okay. Well, <laughs> what would you? Why would you? Why, why did you bench D'Lo? He had two points. What are you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. But I like him. Nobody cares about that. That's not what we're talking about. These are business conversations that deal with businessmen. Right. Right. When you're good at something, you should progress. The guys that are not as good, they should fall down by the wayside. That's natural. They're where they, so you believe if your talent doesn't support it, you should fall by the wayside, and the guys that have the talent and they get elevated, they should move. No, that's what water says. That's what the universe say. The universe say the levels. <laughs> Every, no, I don't, not I say. Who am I? <laughs> I'm nobody. I, but I'm working every day. <laughs> <laughs> bro, when he said that, bro, that was crazy. Yo, like, and I think he really mean that when he say it. Like, I don't think he meant that as comedy, but it just comes off funny. You having an unnatural allegiance to losers is not like you. Like, <laughs> bro, you don't know Shannon. You don't know what his allegiance lie. You know what I'm saying? You don't know him, Cat. <laughs> Cat acting like they grew up together. <laughs> Yo, Cat is hilarious right now with this, man. And he keeping a straight face like, yo, I mean I mean what I'm saying right now. Let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said yeah. I had Cedric on here and I asked him about the joke stealing. Yeah. And he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point, you say 
Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, mm -hmm. and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. And yo, I 100% believe Cedric stole his joke, man. 100%. And I, I and, and I actually like Cedric the Entertainer. You know what I'm saying? I actually like Cedric. I ain't got nothing against Cedric. But I 100% believe he stole his joke. Because that right there, like, that sound real accurate. You know, First off, somebody not coming out here and lying like this. So we know what Cat talking about is real. We know what he's saying is real. And he just exposing everybody. He came out here for the drama. <laughs> he came out here for the drama. He exposing all of it. It's all being exposed right now. But then he talk about punching, punching, uh... Punching Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer in his stomach. Cat, I don't think you beating him either. Cat, it's let's be real, Cat. It ain't too many people I think you can beat. <laughs> ain't too many people I think you could beat. When you lose into a kid that ain't even a teenager yet, a 12-year-old kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> ain't too many people you going, I believe you could beat. Now, you could be wrong. Maybe that kid was on something. I don't know, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I just don't think that. I just don't think that you could beat that kid up, and I don't think you could beat Cedric up, and I don't think that you could beat uh beat up Kevin Hart. But you funny though. You a good comedian. You a great comedian. Great, great comedian. Strategic, masterful, mastermind. <laughs> right. <laughs> The one comedian that we've been sitting here doing this interview that you hold in very high regard is Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle walked away from 50 million. You said it was more. Tell the story. That's right. I want no, you tell it. No, you're. you're no, the best. I want you to tell it. You really are the best. You're proving it here today. <laughs> as much as I'm proving it, you're proving it. Bro, Shannon did look a little funny when he said. <laughs> Shannon said. <laughs> Bro, that tickled Shannon, didn't it? <laughs> you proven it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't, people say that. He lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him $50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down $50 million? Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. 
and you got to tell him no. Come you got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need another one? You, here, get you another Thank one. Thank you, too, sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... Can't. Man. Can't. Yeah, it's crazy. Yo, buddy said... Who going to turn down 50 million? Dave Chappelle didn't turn down 50 million. I turned down 50 million four times. Bro, you just said, who going to turn down 50 million? And then you proceed to say that you turned down 50 million four times. You said, nobody going to turn down 50 million. Who going to turn down 50 million? I turned down 50 million. I turned down 50 million four Bro, come on now. You're not making no sense now. You know what I'm saying? you saying that nobody going to do it. Who going to do it? Who would turn down 50 million? Me. Not him, though. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what you talk about? And then he got wild at the end right there. You already know not to talk about P. Diddy because he got people calls blowing up. P. Diddy out there doing the craziest, so you better you better relax. So he, he, he said them words about Diddy invited him to party. He said, and you got to tell him no. <laughs> Bro, now when Diddy come see you, you ain't going to have them words. I promise you not. I don't, it don't matter how, how uh, Diddy be acting, man. When Diddy... Come see you, you not gonna have them words, bro. <laughs> Cause you you might disappear for real. Man, look, I appreciate you stopping by for the first video of the new year. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Do it, do it now. Do it, do it now. Got more videos coming for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start getting back in the lab and doing my little thingy thing when I can, you feel me? That's all I got for today. Peace.